Right there guys, how you doing? Uh, my name's Paul Dunn. Uh, I've been asked to do another wee video for you guys uh, by Curious Creatures. As always, I'm happy to uh, do a video for you guys. I constantly feel like I need to explain myself here, right? Um, I'm autistic. I have um, Asperger's Syndrome. I'm on the spectrum. Um, so for me, keeping these snakes... I'm a snake keeper, I'm a snake handler, I do all that stuff. All the nitty gritty stuff, um, I've, I've researched it and researched it and researched it over the years but for some reason I can't seem to store a lot of the information so I've got my notes written down and um, stuff that I feel that I should know and I do know it but I just can't seem to store it. Hey, I'm a snake handler and a snake keeper guys. So you'll see me referring to my wee notes that I've got there. Right? Um, but today we're going to do a video on the Papua New Guinea Taipan. and I'm going to watch my time actually because I've got about 15 minutes to do this. Um, you'll hear excuse the lightning here, it's not the greatest. Um, but I've got a Papua New Guinea Taipan in here, Oxyuranus scutellatus cani. Um, these are classed as the third most venomous snake in the world. Um, with some people even classing it as the most venomous snake in the world. Um, so I'll get her out. I've got my my notes here. So you'll see me referring to my notes. Eh? I know it doesn't look very professional, but sadly that's the way it is for me. Um, but here we go. As always, don't try this at home. But I'll get her out. She'll probably give me the runner out. She's quite quick. Um, but guys, this is Patch. She is... She was born in 2019, around about March. Come on, come on, girl, come on. So yeah, this is this is Patch. I don't know if you'll see her too well. But, um, this is Papua New Guinea Taipan. She is a form a uh, coastal Taipan. Um, coastal Taipans are from Australia, but there is the Papua New Guinea version, which is this one here. These are my favourite species of the taipan. Um, the coastal taipan is the longest venomous snake in Australia. Um, see, now I'm looking up at my notes already. Uh, they can grow anywhere from 4.9 to 6.6 .6 feet in length. Um, and the longest ever recorded coastal taipan was 9.5 feet. Um, these guys... This girl is from Papua New Guinea, and these are found throughout Papua New Guinea. And uh, tropical rainforests, stuff like that. Um, I had a wee look, and I should have wrote it down, all the places where they like to inhabit. Um, these guys feed on mice rats and bandicoots, and also birds. Um, she, she was eating chicks, so I reckon if they were able to catch a bird, they would catch a bird. Um, they're mainly diurnal, or diurnal however you say it, um, which means they're active during the day. Um, these guys are mostly active in the early morning to mid-morning. But in the hotter weather, they could, what's the word, they can become nocturnal. So if it scorch you outside and it's too hot, they'll just hunt at night time when it's dark and cool. Um, when hunting, they'll seek out their prey. When they find their prey, they'll lace up and they'll deliver several strikes. Um, this really isn't a snake that you want to get bitten by, so the prey really does succumb very, very fast. As I say, these are number three in the world. You've got the inland taipan, you've got the brown snake, and then you've got the coastal taipan. But there is some people out there that claim that this is indeed the most venomous snake in the world. But either way, Taipans have the number one spot. Um, a wee example, um, a single drop of inland Taipan venom can kill 100 grown men or 250,000 mice. So it gives you a little idea on just how toxic these snakes actually are. Um, right, this is the wee bit that I struggle with, right? So I've got all written down for you guys, right? 
My, my head works. This is venomous. If it bites you, you die. This is the third most venomous snake in the world. If it bites me, I die quick. <laughs> um, that's the autistic brain for you. Um, but I've written it down, right? So the venom contains primarily tysopoxin, right? Which is a highly potent neurotoxin and it affects the nervous system and the blood's ability to clot. Right? Effects include headache, nausea, vomiting, collapse, convulsions, paralysis, internal bleeding, myelosis, destruction of muscle tissue, and kidney damage. Um, in severe cases of envenomation, um, death can happen in as little as 30 minutes. They can kill you really quick. Worst case scenario, if you bit, kind of it bit you and you went into anaphylactic shock, anaphylaxis can kill you very, very, very quickly. Like, um, these are not a snake to be bitten by. Usually, um, death can occur on average after about 2.5 hours. That's for Wikipedia, it says 2.5 hours. But that depends on the nature of the bite. And um, as I've said, how the victim reacts to the bite as well. Um, so as I say, if you go into anaphylactic shock, anaphylaxis is a huge killer. And it could kill you in seconds, it really can. Um, taipans are usually a very, very nervous and twitchy snake. In inland's not so bad, um, but what I found about the Papua New Guinea taipan, they're very twitchy. Very, very fast, very twitchy. So slow movements where um, I like to keep everything nice and easy. And as you can see, she's very relaxed. She's not interested in biting me at all. Um, as long as I'm slow with her. Don't panic if she comes close. As I say, if she comes close to me, it really doesn't put me up or down. I'm not doing anything to freak her out, so she's no reason to bite me. This is just my way of doing things. Not everybody likes that, but this is just how I've adapted as a snake handler and a snake keeper. Um, I've had this girl since 2019, March. Um, where are you going? She was, um, I think, born in February. And she came to me. See how twitchy she is there? Um, she came to me in March. Um, she's grown nicely. Inland taipans. Like, taipans usually, on average, get to all about the same length. But inland taipans are usually a little bit smaller uh, than the coastals. Um, I've kept inland taipans before. Uh, they can calm down really quickly. Um, the Papua New Guinea Taipans tend to stay quite twitchy. I don't know if you can see it because of the light, but she's got a beautiful copper sheen all the way down her back. Um, your inland Taipans, they're like a, a brownie colour. And they change in the summer, like your inland taipan will be like a dark brown, like really dark brown, almost black in the winter. And then in the summer they'll go really light brown, they're gorgeous. Um, I'm not too sure if the Papua New Guinea taipans change colour. Um, I'll have to watch out for that. <laughs> um, coastals tend to be a bit lighter, a bit lighter brown. Um, but I love the taipan, I love the taipan. Um, see, I just repeated myself. That's how much I love the Taipan. Um, I'm watching my time as well, man. It runs out so fast when you've only got 15 minutes. The only reason I do 15 minute videos is because I can't send them to Luke if they're any longer. <laughs> I think it started about 25 past. That's 22, so I've got 5 minutes. Um, but she is currently, she's in a 4x2 Viv. All of my vivs are double doored, which means I take the first set of doors back and uh, put another set of doors in the front. So I've got two sets of doors on all my vivs. She's kept around about 32. Um, she has cool end as well, which she can cool down if need be. Um, 
know, she's always okay when I've got her on the floor. Um, but when you go into her vivarium, you go into her space, uh, her space, when you go into her space, um, got her Sean Connery and stuff there, um, if you go into her space, she's very, very defensive, and that's when the typing in her really comes out. Um, usually if you're slow, you can get her out no problem. Um, but sometimes she likes to give you the run around, so you're... She's in amongst all the leaves and the logs in her viv and you've got to take everything out one by one. Um, but as you can see when she's on the floor, she's very chilled out. You usually won't see a lot of photographs of her either because she never sits still. Uh, she's constantly on the move so I can take hundreds of photographs of her and you might get one good one and the rest are blurry. Um, some people, uh, the black mamba is meant to be the fastest snake in the world. Um, I know people that keep these in black mambas and they swear that the Papua New Guinea Taipan is faster. Um, I've never kept the black mamba so I can't personally comment but I have been told this by a few people. But as it's written at the moment, the black mamba is the quickest. Um, if I can pick her up, I'll bring her close to the camera and let you see her. A very chilled out wee girl. Um, that's not something that you usually hear when it comes to taipans. So she's a very chilled out little girl. But she's not interested in biting. You might even be able to see that copper sheen down her back as I hold her up. She's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful snake. Alright girl, but she's no interested in biting me, as long as I'm slow with her. See I'm not giving, I'm not giving her a reason to bite me, I'm slow with her, I'm relaxed, I'm not panicking and I really do feel that they pick up the vibe in the room. So if you're relaxed with the snake, the snake repays you in my eyes and they remain relaxed as well. I think she's got some stuck shed at the back of her head there. But yeah, a single scratch for this snake. This snake doesn't even have to give you a full on bite. A single scratch from a fan and you are in serious, serious trouble. But guys, I can't get enough of it. I love it. People ask me if I got an adrenaline rush. I really don't. What you see is what you get. Um, this is how I do things on camera. This is how I do things off camera. This is just my way of handling. Um, some people don't like what I do because I'm different. Um, guys, if you don't like what I do, just don't watch. It's easy. But yeah, this is Patch, and she's a Papua New Guinea Taipan, world's most venomous, or the third most venomous snake as it's written. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, I think that's me approaching 15 minutes now. Um, but guys, please don't try any of this stuff at home. Um, you probably not got a type on anyway, but you know, I always like to just say don't try this, but no, don't try this at home. But see, I'm stumbling for stuff to say now. Uh, autism and talking on camera just don't mix. This is all quite new to me. But yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, give it a share, give it a heart. Um, tell your friends about it, watch it when you're bored, um, I've got a YouTube channel, if you just type my name into YouTube, you'll find my YouTube channel. Um, but guys, that's my time running out, uh, so I'm going to head off, I'm going to put it back, uh, take it easy, keep safe, 
and hopefully do another video for you guys soon. Peace.